folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. And on today's show, I have, for the first time this year, folks from Legends in Concert. I have Larry Turner and Doug Bruin. Uh, they play Brooks and Dunn on uh, Legends in Concert show. And so I'm really excited to talk to these guys. They've been on the show, I think, maybe like five years ago. Uh, and so it's going to be great to have them back and talk to them about their adventures as Brooks and Dunn. Did you know that Brooks and Dunn have launched over 50 singles? And of that, 20 of them went to number one. And then 19 of them went to top 10. That's just a phenomenal, phenomenal record. Um, they really kind of influenced culture in a big way with their song Boot Scoot Boogie. You might remember that. And line dancing became popular again after that. Um, one of the things I thought that was really interesting as I was researching this is um, their song, uh, Only in America, was used by both George W. Bush and Barack Obama. And so I thought that was interesting that the same song was used by two different presidents on two different ends of the spectrum. Once again, just to show you kind of how uh, popular uh, their music was. So folks, we'll be back in just a second with Legends in Concert with uh, Brooks and Dunn. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. And today on the show, I think for the first time in maybe a couple years, I have some folks from Legends in Concert, which I'm so excited about, Larry Turner and Doug Bruin. So guys, yes, welcome back to the show. Well, Thanks thank for having you. us. Yeah, so, it's great to be back. We think that you were maybe on the show in 2017, so it's yeah, been a long time. It has been a long time. So, yeah. anyway, good to have you guys <clears throat> back. Um, for maybe someone that hasn't seen that episode super long time ago, why don't each of you tell us how you got into this business and kind of your career journey in the entertainment world? You want to start first, or you want me to start? <laughs> I guess I will. It, it's uh, well, so, so I'll just break it right out that Larry also does George Strait, of course, and a, a tribute to George Strait, and I do a tribute to Alan Jackson. And that's how we both really got started, not as Brooks and Dunn, but as we were doing that first. So I started in 2004 uh, doing a tribute to Alan Jackson with Legends and uh, been doing it with them ever since, really. And in 2013, we got together and said, um, hey, let's let's start doing uh, Brooks and Dunn because we love love their music and we know how popular it is and uh, and we just thought if we could pull it off let's try it and that's what we tried and here we are that's what we did it's been yep. 13 years Doug we've been doing it right all the way from Myrtle Beach to make an audition tape up here in Branson and uh, straight <laughs> straight through yeah and we did that at the downstairs at the Legends Theater and we sent it to Vegas and next thing you know we were hired so it's but been tell an them interesting how you, journey. How you got started with uh, George? Yeah, mine's really kind of interesting because I didn't know who George Strait was. I was in gospel music for twenty some odd years, wow. and George and I worked at Precious Moments in Carthage with okay. putting the entertainment together. And one day everybody was all excited because they said George Strait's dad's going to be at our show today. Okay, okay good. Well, you know, we did our show, and afterwards he came up and got to talk to him. He enjoyed the show, and he says, you know, you look a lot like my son. And uh, this is when I was about 40, so a lot, a lot of years ago. It's changed since then. <laughs> but anyway, he said, and so I, I thought, okay, great, because you're always told you look like somebody. Went backstage, and I said, okay, guys, who is George Strait? And uh, they said, oh, my gosh, he's the biggest country person in, that there is right now. You need to listen to some of his music. And it's kind of funny because the first time I listened to one of his songs, I thought, no, you got to be kidding. But the more I listened to his stuff, I fell in love with that, that country music. 
And I'd never heard of a tribute show, but my wife and I went on vacation to Vegas and we went to a legend show and walked out. And after meeting George's father, I thought, put two and two together. I thought, well, maybe there's something here because I'd done a lot of studying on him, how big he is. And so I put in a videotape and sent it to Vegas and here I am. Wow, that's crazy. It is crazy. So it was all inspired by his dad coming to your show. That's what got it started. It really is. Wow. Yeah, it really is. That's how it all started. So, Doug, tell us how you started doing Alan Jackson. What I mean, were you doing something before then that led you into the entertainment um, world? Or? Yeah, it was. It was not quite as dramatic. With with uh, Alan's dad didn't come up to me or anything like that. But uh, <laughs> but um, I was playing music all my life um, uh, from high school band and and, and everything. So from. But uh, I was in a wedding band from like 10th grade until I was 35 years old. And um, I put a country band, I, we stopped playing it at that, at that point. Later on, I put a country band together and uh, we started playing and, and um, because I was in the country music at the time and everybody said I looked like Alan Jackson. So we started playing a lot of Alan Jackson songs, but everything else too, including Brooks and Dunn. And uh, and we played down at uh, Bally's Wild West Casino. They had us there for a bull riders convention thing, big big event. And uh, we played down there, and then they kept having us back because it went so well. And uh, the band's called Late Night Rodeo, which okay. is that's what that. that yeah. And uh, they uh, they the casino had us back. Uh, next door was Legends in Concert at the Claridge Casino, and uh, they told him, you got to come over and see this guy. And they came over, saw me, said, come in, do a videotape, do an audition, and that was it. And then from there, they, we started working together. So. Yeah. And, and that's so when I, your life changed forever, because we met And then it, I met you, and it yeah, was so it, special. It's never, it's been, never been, been the same. No? There's a lot of sleepless <laughs> nights now. So. Yeah. so, Doug, I show that you have been with Legends in Concert since 2004. Yes. So that's a long time. Yeah, it's, man, it's been a long time. Um, you know, I, I was in, I did graphics and advertising uh, before that, and and that kind of died with, uh, not kind of, it definitely died when, with the, uh, with the 9-11 disaster. And so a lot of our clients that we were doing advertising for had stopped. And I was looking for other things to do. Um, And so the music kind of took over. I always played music on the side, but the graphics was the main thing. And then when when we just had the uh, COVID situation happen in 2000, it kind of switched back a little bit. I went back to doing some of my graphics and building websites and doing some of the stuff for some, for some of my friends and things like wow. that. So, um, but thankfully we're back to music now. We're back to shows and um, legends in concert. Yeah. Yeah. And so you guys and, have, go no, 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 go ahead. We've been doing this as Brooks and Dunn for legends and concerts. Now you said since, was it 2013? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Doug's a stickler on, on, on details. I mean, show him your tattoo that you got right there. Well, he's got a cowboy yeah, just like Ronnie real, Dunn. It's, it's <laughs> I mean, he takes It'll everything to the after a while. and that's what makes him <laughs> great. And I'm bragging on him right now, but he really is. And yeah. and uh, it's amazing how he can transform his voice from Alan Jackson to Ronnie Dunn because Ronnie Dunn's got a unique sound. Yeah, and well, he nails it. And I, I've seen you guys, and you guys do a great job. Like, I, so there's no question about that. And here's the deal: if you're if you're in Legends in concert, you have to do a great job. I mean, they have a they have a brand that they're right. yeah. that they are, are doing out there. Um, so I do have to hold this up. It says uh, the roads that I've been down. Doug Bruin, uh, we'll put that on the screen, and that is they can find this in the gift shop. At, at Legends, Legends in Concert right. at the Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater, or they could go to LateNightRodeo.com, it says here on the back. Right. So they can, and this has got a lot of original music it's on it It's all original well. music, yeah. yeah. There's, uh, so yeah. That, that is awesome. Um, we're going to stop right here. We're going to be back in just a second and talk more about the Legends in Concert here in Branson, Missouri, which by far is the best Legends in Concert in the world. I'll be back in just a minute.
Hey folks, welcome back to the show here on Clay Branson. Today we have Larry Turner and Doug Bruin. They represent Brooks and Dunn on Legends in Concert. And so guys, if somebody's out there watching and they've never been to Legends in Concert, tell us what they can expect. A great show. Uh, production. We've got great dancers, a great band. And uh, you get the best songs of each artist, then they're gonna perform those. And it's, they'll be entertained. Yeah, and, and the, the, you know, what we're trying to do is create an illusion and, um, and have them feel like they're at a Brooks and Dunn concert as best we can. And we've actually had just Many recently people. a bunch of people who, came, who have just seen Brooks and Dunn in concert and they were like, man, you guys, you nailed it. It was it was great, and that's probably one of the best compliments we can ever get. But um, yeah, you know, it's we just try to give them that experience so that the, you know people love that music. They love Boot Scoot and Boogie, My Maria. They love those tunes, and so uh, we just want to pour it out to them and 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 let them hear it the way they want to hear it. Yeah. And the other great thing about Legends is. If you do not like one act, just wait 15, 20 minutes and you've got somebody else coming on. Yeah, it's a big variety. Yeah, you know, it's a great Adele, variety. Blues Brothers, mm -hmm. Elvis. Elvis and, and us. Yeah, and you do have the dancers, which I do like, and then you, and some of them act as sometimes backup singers, and so right. it's a well choreographed show. Very well. Yeah, actually, um, Jess sings, uh, she starts uh, our half of the, our part of the show, uh, by singing, we do "If You See Him, If You See Her," which is the um, Brooks and Dunn. They and did Reba. it with Reba, and so she comes out and and uh, she has a little solo there, and uh, she's outstanding, you know. And uh, so it's a, it's a it's a unique way to start our part of the show um, because right after that we go right into hard working man and just like, boot scoot oh, boogie. You know, yeah. We just take and then off the, from there, the buddy. song of the night really for Brooks and Dunn, I should say, is Believe. That's a great song. People just start crying, and uh, Doug always says a joke, you know, I guess the allergies have hit you right about now, so, uh, but yeah. it, it's so an incredible impacted. song. Here, here's the deal, if you, music impacts people, and you guys are impacting people right. through your music, and so that's awesome. Here's the deal, the summer lineup, if they wanna catch you, they don't have very long to do that, and you guys are going to be in town through September 6th. Right. So uh, when this launches, you're going to have a little bit of time to catch Brooks and Dunn. And Brooks and Dunn is there with Adele, the Bruce Brothers, and then, of course, Elvis. Um, and then we transition on September 8th through October 31st. We've got Tina Turner, Freddie Mercury, Willie Nelson, the Blues Brothers, and Elvis. And then we go another transition, November 1st through January 1st. Um, and this is where... In, you come back. I come back uh, looking like that. Looking like Alan Jackson. <laughs> uh, and then we have Carrie Underwood, which I like Carrie, Alan Jackson, Garth Brooks, the Blues Brothers, and Elvis Gospel. Uh, that'll sound like a, that sounds like a pretty good Christmas show. Yeah, it's a, it, well, they're calling it a country Christmas. It's kind of the first time we've, we've done this at Legends, as far as I know, uh, where it's really kind of focused on that part of it, and, and leaning more towards the country part of it. But there's just, again, so many great songs. Alan's got, um, you know, let it be Christmas. Um, it, it's just, there's a ton of, ton of great Christmas tunes that, that people like to hear. And that's, that's what we're trying to present. Yeah. So. Um, now we talked about a little bit just behind the scenes here a moment ago is that you out at legends in concert, they're now doing a, uh, backstage tour during yeah, intermission. The backstage. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to talk about that? Uh, they go backstage and, um, Ryan or Elvis Presley meets them and takes them on a tour the whole shebang back there and they get to announce five minutes till showtime on the on the intercom system back there for it's the It's kind of interactive they get to so they get to do that um, they get to close the stage curtains but they get a history of what um, you know the theater uh, and and they get to go through and see um, where Bill Medley's dressing room right. was and all uh -huh. that stuff and a lot of a lot of uh, historical pictures that are in there um, so it, it, and they get a they get a lanyard they get a t-shirt and they seem to really enjoy it they have fun with it I pass so them fun. all the time I'm back there getting ready to go on stage so I'm tuning my guitar and all that stuff and getting things yeah. set up so. so you're tuning your guitar so you're playing a real guitar Yes. Oh, there yeah. There we go. Yeah. So a lot of times people think, well, is it real or not? But it, Legends in Concert, it's all real. 
Yeah, I, I, you can hear me play, and when I mess up, you know it. <laughs> well, like, once in a while, ding, yeah. it's like, whoop. So I love, I love the, the, you know, of course, not everybody can go backstage, and so if you buy a ticket, maybe you've already bought it, you can, it's what I've been told is you can go back and you can add this on, or maybe you just decide when you get there you want to go backstage, and so I love those unique experiences that, uh, and this is new, and so... Check it's, this out, folks. We it's brand new. It's just been, what, a couple of weeks yeah. yeah, going, and the green room looks beautiful. Yeah, they get to see all the technology and yeah. see what, what, you know, what everything goes into putting the show together. They get to meet uh, Bradley, who's the stage manager, um, who, you know, really just keeps the whole oh, show going. Incredible. Without him, it, it would be a mess. Yeah. So. Now, how many, do you guys know how many times you've been in Branson, or how many seasons you've been? Any wow. idea? I came here in 2003, and uh, I'm from Carthage, Missouri, mm -hmm. and uh, I started with Presley's, and I was there for four years. Oh, wow. And then I came to Legends for a year, but then I went to Pierce Arrow for one year, and came back to Legends in 2008. Okay. And, uh, gosh, I don't know how many times I've been here at Legends. Yeah. They, they, just, they just go, oh, no, when we walk in the door. They're yeah, back. yeah. What well, you know? I think there's only been, you know, maybe since 2004, maybe three years that I haven't been here. Okay. Maybe four. The longest drought that Most we've had, I think, since COVID, because we haven't been here since before mm. COVID. Yeah, we were yeah. supposed to have been here the year that COVID hit. Yeah. yeah. So you guys travel a lot of different places, and so maybe there's somebody out there that's like, man, I don't know whether to go to Branson or not. What would you tell them? Because you're you guys don't live here full time year round. What would you tell them? Uh, a lot to see. A lot to see, a lot to do, a lot of places to eat. Yeah, um, one of my, I love the landing. I love going down on the landing, and and, uh, and there's a lot of great golf courses here. Oh, yeah. Thousand Hills, we, yeah. uh, Point Royale, Point Royale. Um, Holiday, Holiday Hills, Hills. We, play. we play a lot of golf. So there's a lot to do, um, and, and it, it just like Legends, there's something for everybody. So if go. somebody wants, if the kids want to do one thing, and the parents want to do something else. That's you got everybody's happy, and there's, and that's and if they how want, the legend show is too. They got a little bit of something for everybody. If they want to get exercise, go to Silver Dollar City. There's a lot of walking to do there. Yeah, there is. Okay, here's the deal. Um, legends perform. Legends in concert performs different times. So it could be a three o'clock show, or it could be an eight o'clock show. And then the other thing is there is a Legends of Country show as well that is a newer show that they have out there. And that could be at, I think That's it's Sunday at three o'clock on Sunday. Sundays. That's, yeah. It's, yeah. Yep. So, Every Sunday. Um, so lots of different dates, um, but basically you can catch, if I'm looking at the schedule, right, you can catch a Legends in Concert show or Legends in Country every day except Wednesday. And just by the way, we changed this whole, uh, the whole day we filmed just so we could have someone from Legends in Concert here because we always shoot on Wednesday and they never can come because that's y'all's day off. <laughs> I would have that's come. So, <laughs> I am that well, dedicated. Well, your, your, your people protect you in your day off, believe <laughs> right. me. Cause, and uh, I'm kidding. Because we're I'd out be on the golf course. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. So we, we changed our filming day just so we could have somebody here. Well, we Legends appreciate that. Yeah, so we do appreciate it. And if you wanted to film us on the golf course, come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You'll see how bad we are. <laughs> Folks, we'll be back in just a minute to wrap the show up. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We're going to wrap the show up today. Be sure to go see Legends and Country. You only have a little bit of time left to see Brooks and Dunn's Brooks and Dunn there before the lineup changes. Uh, so through September 6th you can see them. September 8th the new lineup starts. Uh, for the fall, and then I think around November 1st is when then the, the country Christmas show starts. So you'll want to check that out. You can find Legends on 8 p.m. on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, and 3 p.m. on Monday and Friday. They are dark on Wednesdays. 
uh, as far as legends in concert goes there. There are other shows at the theater, uh, such as Six. Uh, you got buckets and boards certain times of year, and then the Brett family uh, will be there during the Christmas season. On next week's show, I have Jody Medeiros and Valerie Hill from All Hands on Deck. Uh, we'll be talking about some changes that are happening with them, and so you'll want to be able to check that show out. Also, we have a lot of things happening uh, in the next couple of weeks here in Branson. And so the big thing that is happening starting today, August 25th, is uh, the Southern Gospel Picnic out at Silver Dollar City. Let me give you a lineup of who are the main headliners there. This isn't everybody, but just the headliners for the next several days. Uh, August 25th, Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. The 26th, The Hoppers. The 28th, Jeff and Sherry Easter. The 30th, Gold City. The 31st, The Isaacs. September 1st, Karen Peck and New River. September 2nd, The Sound. The 3rd, The Martins. The 4th of September, The Inspirations. September 5th, Triumphant Quartet. Whew, that's a lot of Southern Gospel, and that's not even all of it. That's just the headliners in the evening. Um, and then we've got some other folks coming. Uh, the, Malpras brother, the Malpras Brothers are gonna be at Clay Cooper's Theater on August 26th, followed by Neil McCoy on August 30th. Matt Gum and Company, September 1st. You want to check that show out. And then we've got uh, country music happening out at Silver Dollar City on the weekends on September 9th. Colin Ray, Sammy Kershaw, September 10th. Chris Cagle, September 16th. And John Connolly, September 17th. Got a whole bunch of festivals coming later in September out at Silver Dollar City and Shepherd of the Hills. You'll want to check all that out. And here's the deal, folks. If you're like, hey, how do I plan my Branson vacation? I want to go see some great entertainment you need to go to ibranson.com. You can find all the shows there, the attractions, hotels, you can book it all. It's the great, it's the best way to book. Um, or you can just call them at 877 entertain great local people trying to help you have a great vacation. We make it easy and they make it, they, they just take the hard work out of doing it all. So go check those folks out. Um, and we'll see you next week on play Branson. <music>